What's going on guys? Heath Martin with Nonstop Progress. Today, we're going to talk about how you can get more athletic as a soccer player. Now, you don't even need a gym for this. I'm going to show you how most pros increase their athleticism and they don't even know it. So stay tuned to the video and let's get and she want a lot to glow, and she want the guac, you know. Baby, I got a lot, you know. And it took a lot to glow, and it took a lot to glow, and it took a lot. One of the best ways to increase your athletic performance on the field is to implement plyometric training in your training regimen. Plyometrics is the use of short, explosive movements to help you increase your power output. The main focus of plyometric training is to generate as much force as you possibly can into the ground. Exercises like these are looked over, but are really important if you want to become more explosive. Many pros overlook this type of training as being very vital and trying to increase athletic performance. This type of training is only implemented into the activation or warm-up section of the sessions that they do. The main point of plyometrics is to do the same movements that you would do in the game functionally to help you become more conditioned. All the examples in this video are great plyometric movements that you can use. Some other great examples of plyometric movements that you can use would include single leg lunge jumps, broad jumps, and pretty much anything else that has an explosive mechanism to it. To get the most out of these exercises, I recommend that you do 20 plus repetitions after each session. This is because your body has to output the same amount of force even though you're tired. Another way you can increase athletic performance on the field is by doing reactive agility work. Reactive agility drills sole purpose is to help you make faster decisions. The faster you can respond to a stimulus means that whenever you transfer this to the game, you'll have more time on the ball to make better decisions. Adapting to uncomfortable situations in the game will help you become a more confident player. This is what we're trying to recreate when doing these type of trainings. Most pros overlook the fact that reaction time affects 90% of what happens in the game. Many English Premier League teams train in a really small section of the field so that whenever they transfer onto the real size pitch, it's going to be very easy for their players to play. This is important because they perceive that they have to have the same amount of reaction time as they had whenever they were playing in the small space. Since the game had been opened up to the full size pitch, they can now play very fast and be very decisive. If you don't have someone present to help you with your reaction agility work, you can always just do regular agility drills without the reaction component. This won't help you with your reaction time, however, it will help you with your foot eye coordination. Foot eye coordination is important because it helps you instinctually move more efficiently and effectively on the field. This type of training is meant for people who are trying to improve their overall movement mechanics and maybe even prevent injury. Most professionals use these exercises just as a warm up. These movements are realistic to the game, so I recommend that you do them at a high intensity. Big shout out to Coach Z of Soccer Player Academy who gave me all this footage. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to video next. Thanks and peace.